I have agreed to do a video for the company Muse Kits, which is a monthly subscription. This is a monthly box that comes to you with the tools and the information that you need to complete a project. It's designed for beginner artists, to experience artists, to step out and try new mediums and new techniques. Each box comes with this great little booklet that has some history of the product that you are getting ready to dive into and the technique. It has an explanation of all of your tools, a brief tutorial for a quick start on what you need to do to get started with the product, some art prompts, as well as a challenge for something you know, to challenge your skills and ramp it up a little bit better. There will be a coupon in the description below for you to get a discount on your first box. Now, let's dive in and open it up. I showed you the double dual-sized hobby blade, the square silicone work tray, which is three and a half inches by three and a half inches. There's a rolling pin for the clay the liquid Sculpey clay that I have in my hand now, as well as the one pound of white Sculpey oven baked clay. Have some candy, which is always appreciated. You have the black work gloves in there, the thick, triple thick glaze to go over your project, and this box of 12 alcohol inks. And of course, that bubble wrap, which I'll put in my mark making box down below. So now that we have this box opened, let's kind of lay it all out and see what we have. So we have everything we need to create a mosaic tile project. And I think that this is going to be fun. I have, I've worked with Sculpey Clay, but I've never worked with it in this fashion. I've made a few small little things, so let me open up these tools and we'll get started. But prior to beginning, <clears throat> I would like to take just a brief moment and introduce you to my channel, Two Old Crows. I have decided not to use the silicone tray to work with this Sculpey clay. I have a piece of plywood that I have cut into small sizes to use over in my encaustic wax station. I'm taking some black gesso and coating this piece of plywood with this gesso. So I have a dark surface that I can align these tiles on and use these tiles in. So now let's roll out some clay. And I love this little rolling pin that, that came with this. I've used Sculpey clay in the past and used a great big huge rolling pin from my kitchen. And I'm thrilled to have received this in my kit. So now that I have it rolled out, I wanna put a little texture on top of it. So I'm just taking a stencil and rolling that stencil into this clay to create some texture on my tile. So let me hold that up a little closer and you can kind of see what that stencil does. It just indents. I am gonna do it once again because I didn't exactly like the way it was and kind of take a look at how many tiles I'm gonna get out of that. Unhook it from the uh, board that I have here that I'm working on and take some of the alcohol ink and begin to color that clay. Now you can see the stencil that I put on. You can see how that is kind of winding its way around that stencil. And alcohol ink works best on non-porous items. 
So I don't know whether it would have been better for me to do this after it had been baked or to do it now, but this is what I chose to do, so this is what we're going with. I'm never a really great one on reading directions. So let's just wash this alcohol ink, and, and I think this clay is non-porous because you can see that alcohol ink is resting on the top. So let's just, wa oops, I broke it there, but we'll, we'll fix that later. We're going to make a lot of these little tiles. So I have a lot of this rolled out, a lot of it colored. I'm going to go back with just a second color, and I have chosen the bronzes and the golds inside the packet of metallics. They're all metallic inks and there's all kinds of colors inside inside that little box. You have 12 colors to choose from, from pink to blue to black to gold. So there's all sorts of things in there. Now I have everything rolled out. I have the relief on it with the stencil and I'm ready to cut. So I've put the triangular cutters over that piece of clay and am cutting the outside edge away from the area to kind of clean that up a little bit. I have all of these little triangular shapes right in there. And now I'll scoop those up and shoot them over to a piece of parchment paper so I can get them into the oven. So let me get them all lined out on this parchment paper and then I will come back in with that one inch flat brush and that glaze and brush that glaze over each of these pieces. I probably could have done this before I cut them apart, but I didn't. So we're doing it right now. Now this will go into the oven and I believe the bake time on that and I have put that away so I don't have the package out but I believe the bake time on it is 18 minutes is what yeah it's 18 minutes at 275 degrees. So after baking I'm going to let those cool down and then I'm going to apply one more layer of that triple thick over the entire thing and let it dry. And then I'm ready to put it together. So I have done that. I am positioning it on the outside edge of my plywood. And I am just using glue to glue these into place. And you see I rolled out some spacers uh, and cut those spacers for because my triangular tire, tiles didn't take me evenly to the top and to the bottom, so I just rolled out a thin line and, and made some spacers to put in there. And there we have what is my finished layout. Now I am taking that liquid Sculpey and going back in in each and every hole to kind of fill those holes in. Well, I could have used it like this. I am choosing to fill those little spaces like grout with this liquid Sculpey. So I'm going to get that down in, inside and allow that to kind of set up and then I will come back and color that. So I'm just getting it now inside my open areas. I hope I'm making sense. And now that I am have that complete, I'm coming back with that deep gold alcohol ink and going inside all of those lines. And then I wanted to cover the side of the tile and make sure that that was also covered. So I've gone on the inside and the outside and just made sure that we were fully covered. I'm not real, I'm gonna put a picture in here so I, I'm not really caring how messy I am in the center of that, I'm gonna cover that up. And there's that last glaze. And it hit it one more time. And I put this back in the oven, and I put it back in the oven at 275 for another 18 minutes because I <clears throat> had that liquid Sculpey 
that I had put inside these lines after I had baked the first tiles. So a couple of things that I probably could have done in different orders, but it worked and I agreed to share the video of what I did and this is exactly how I did it. So I'm not going to um, redo to change the steps. So now that I have that complete and it's baked nicely at the 275, I've applied yet another coat of that glaze. I'm going to stick the picture of my oldest uh, granddaughter of my oldest daughter inside that frame because I thought it just worked perfect with the frame. And I'm going to add a little more alcohol ink because there's a little blemish on the picture down, down in the bottom. And I don't know whether I like this in the end result. I might pull this picture out and put a different picture in. But in any event, this is Miss May that I have stuck down inside, inside this frame. And this is exactly what I did with my Muse kit. So I hope you will uh, consider getting one of your own. I would love to see what you do. You'll find this over on my Instagram. I'm going to do a shortened version. You'll also find it here on my YouTube channel. And your coupon code is in the description. Enjoy and thank you to MuseKit for trusting me to do a video on one of your products. Bye for now.